Hey everyone, it's Yasmin. How are you going? I hope you're really well. So I thought I would hop on here today to say if you are having an extremely tense week, I think I know why. So basically what's been going on is that this week, Mercury, the planet of communications, has been, first of all, um, was squaring Pluto. Then it was squaring Saturn and now it's been opposing Mars. So basically it's been a pretty intense time. Hi everybody, I can see everyone's jumping on the Facebook Live. So yeah, so I actually, let me just tell you, just to give you an idea of what's been going on for me, um, maybe you can relate. So about two days ago, I already mentioned this, and I'm honestly not looking for sympathy. Uh, I'm just stating it as a fact. Um, some guy on Instagram, no, on uh, YouTube, uh, took aim at me. I actually haven't watched the video because I just, I thought I'm not going to bother to watch the video. But he obviously said some sort of muggle type things about me. I have no idea what he said, but, you know, basically set upon his followers, set them on me. So I, I noticed all these comments were coming through on a particular video I did. And um, I thought, that's weird. Like, it was quite an old video. It was, when from, it was from summer, actually, when I was away. And so I went and there were these nasty, horrible, mean, caustic, toxic comments. Can I just say all from men, all from men? which explains so much about what's going on in the world today. And I love my husband and my son more than life itself, but I'm just saying. Anyway, and so I real life worked out what was going on. And quite honestly, um, I said elsewhere, I think, I like to think I gave as good as I got. Um, I, you know, I mean, I had one guy saying, oh, I won't even go into it. It was just, it was honestly ridiculous. I'll just, that's all I'll say. And, but very upsetting as well, which is crazy because I know that when these things happen, you're supposed to just rise above it. And I know you're, what you're all going to say as well. Undoubtedly, you're all going to say, just ignore them. You know, it's like, yeah, but like they're making accusations and I'm just not that good at ignoring accusations. <laughs> anyway, so I was really upset about that. That was the day before yesterday. And then I thought oh, that was so Mercury square Pluto or square Saturn or all that. And, um, and then yesterday I was still really upset and uh, I ended up having a big argument with my beloved husband, which I knew was just because I was still feeling all that. Uh, all that upset from the trolls, basically. You know, some of whom actually apologised once I actually you know, addressed what they were saying, just FYI, F for the record, actually, FTR. Um, so that was that. So then this morning I woke up and I thought, oh, you know, thank God. I put a comment on the video saying, by the way, I'm not going to read any more of these comments and I'm not going to respond to any more of them. Um, and I would have deleted the video, actually, except I thought, no, I'm not losing my right to rebuttal because I rebutted a lot of these ridiculous comments that were just so stupid and like anyway I don't want to even go into it but some of them were just anyway blah 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 so then I thought okay I'm feeling much better and then so then a, a friend of mine from Australia called me asking for some help with something that she's launching because she could I have a look at her chart and we ended up getting to this big big upset where she basically brought up something that I would have said about a year ago, which I would never say, I would never say, like, I just wouldn't. And she'd obviously either misheard me or misunderstood me. I've actually got a really good, you know how people have photographic memory? I have an audio memory, but unfortunately it was a year ago and it's just, I don't remember what I said now. And I just, I would never say that. And it became a really big argument because I was really insulted that she would even think that. Uh, anyway, we kind of talked it through. It took about an hour um, and included me hanging up on her at one point, <laughs> I admit. Anyway, I was just thinking, and I said to her at the end, once we'd kind of, you know, I mean, I don't know if she was just trying to appease me, but she said, okay, I accept, I didn't understand. She was talking about referring to a dinner that apparently something to do with his dinner, which the dinner was never even planned anyway. So I'm like, this was never even happening. Anyway, I won't go into it, but it was weird and strange. 
And so we ended up talking it through and then I ended up looking at a chart and all that, blah, 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 blah. But I said to her, you know, I'm so disappointed this has happened today because two days ago I had all these trolls and the, yesterday I had an argument with Olivier because I was still upset about the trolls and now I've had this upset with you. And I was just sitting here thinking, when is this all this stuff going to be over? And I thought, you know what? Actually, um, it's all grist for the mill. Because what's happening is, is so much what you would expect to have happen in a week where Mercury, the planet of communications, has been slamming into um, Pluto, then Saturn, then Mars. You know, that, that's just what you expect. So, you know, in a way, in a way, I thought, well, at least if I do a little Facebook Live, <laughs> you know, at least then I can make something of it. You know, I can maybe help someone else who's been having an upset or who has been picked on or who's been picking on someone and getting themselves into trouble or whatever. It's in, it's in the stars right now. It really is. Now, I suppose the first thing that everybody wants to know is when is it going to be over? And as of about... Uh, 50 minutes ago, the peak of the latest of it finished about 50, 50 minutes ago from the time of recording this. And uh, then Mercury is going to move into Scorpio on Sunday and uh, Saturn's going to actually go retrograde. Then the sun's going to oppose Chiron. Good for making up. Chrissy is saying, you did warn us. I know I did. And look at it. And then, um, but then on the 29th, which is next Tuesday, um, Mars is going to square Saturn. And that's going to be quite tricky. And then it's going to square Pluto on the 9th of October. So we've got kind of a few weeks of this. But in another way, we actually have a few months of it as well. Because as I've been saying all the time, you know, Mars is going forwards and it's going backwards and it's going forwards. And... Uh, it's generally going to be a time about this. Um, I actually lost my temper quite badly with my friend today and quite badly with my husband yesterday. So I'm just looking to see if I've got any Oracle cards so I can pick a card, but I don't. But I've got my trusty app on my apps on my phone. Um, anyway, the long and the short of it is, if that's happening for you right now, this is what it's related to. And, you know, I suppose with me, you know, I mean, the thing is, when I get, when I feel confronted... When I feel someone's coming for me, I, I go for them, you know. And I know with the, the trolls, you know, I did. And I know uh, with my friend today on the phone, I just went for it. And maybe my lesson is to just, you know, let people walk all over me. <laughs> I doubt that's my lesson, but who knows. I'll just say one other thing. Um, you know, I've been watching this show. I really recommend it if you like real estate. Um... It's a show called uh, $100 Million Listing or something. It's in LA. And they have all these estate agents who, whatever you think of estate agents, you know, I know that some of them have got reputation for not telling the truth, et cetera, et cetera. But it's extraordinary to watch them having clients be really rude to them and they just say nothing because what they want is the sale and they don't really care if they have to, you know, have people being rude to them, uh, you know, and it's a, le it's a masterclass in having, having, letting people be rude to you and just letting it wash all over you. And I do admire that. And probably one of my lessons is learning to do that. Um, and Marissa says, million dollar listing. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the way that they just suck it up is quite extraordinary. And I watch it and I think, oh, my God, like, how do they do that? Because if someone comes to me, I find it hard to resist. I don't know if I should. I don't know. But anyway, what I really, the message I really wanted to give today is if you're going through the mill with things like this, with upsets and dramas and carry on, just breathe. Just breathe. That's all we can do, I suppose. And um, I mean, I'm sure there's a higher way to handle it and maybe someone's going to come on and you know, give us some wise advice in the comments, which I will gladly take. But the astrology right now is intense. So I guess all we can do is be our best selves. And, uh, you know, I guess for me, I need to think about when I feel attacked. Um, you know, do I just need to learn to shut up? I don't know. I don't know what the lesson is for me yet. 
I don't know. I'm just sharing what's been going on. <sighs> so there you go. There you go. Marissa says journaling helps her. Yes, I'd rip up the exercise book. <laughs> I'd be writing so furiously. So there you go. I'm good. I'm not, and, and, and honestly, please, I'm not asking for sympathy. Um, Sue Smith says, what's the stone? So let me just tell you about this just really quickly before I finish. For anyone who's interested, it's got the most incredible story. My mother, who is the most beautiful woman in the world, like all our mothers, but she is really beautiful. She was in um, somewhere like Bahrain when I was a little baby. And this sheik turned up, sheik or sheikh, you know, like a royal family type person and firstly tried to buy my mother from my father and said to my father I will give you um x amount of camels I don't know how many camels it was now and uh, my father said look thank you I, you know, I appreciate the offer of the camels but no I think I'm going to keep my wife and the sheikh gave this to my mother and as far as I'm aware it's a sapphire so there you go Alrighty, so I just wanted to hop on and say that and I will send you lots and lots of love wherever you are. Please share this video with anyone you think uh, is going through a tough time and needs to know. And as I said, I'm not really sure how to help it at the moment, apart from obviously I'm going to meditate and I'm going to chant. So sending lots and lots of love. I'll see you later.